Welcome back, baddies. Great to have you. Today's video is a specially crafted tutorial of a design by yours truly. It's never before seen by the internet or anywhere else. So get ready to wow your clients with this all new animal print. Today, we're doing tabby cat nails. So I love this design because it's very beginner friendly, even though it looks very technically difficult. So regardless of your experience level, this design is perfect for you. So you guys can feel free to switch up the colors, try whatever you want to do. But today what we're going to do is we're going to use OPI Topless Beach, Chocolate Mousse, also from OPI. And we're going to use a white detailed gel. Mine is going to be Art Gel Number no. 1 from Opre. We're also going to be using Opre Artiste Drop Gel as well as Nail Addict Black Addict. And we're going to finish off with a matte top coat, also from Nail Addict. For this tutorial, I'm using a long striping brush, but you can play around and see what works best for you. So first I'm going in with a thin coat of Topless Beach. And you do want it to be nice and thin, it doesn't need to be super opaque. We're doing that on the top two thirds of the nail. And I'm gonna hit the last third with our chocolate mousse color. We're just feathering this in. It does not need to be a smooth ombre. Some brush strokiness should be visible and that's gonna help us get that fur-like effect. And we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. Next, I'm going in with my fan brush. And on one half, I'm gonna lightly dip into my detail gel. And we're using a bouncing motion to concentrate my white detail gel at the top of the nail, and then dispersing the rest lightly all the way down. Then I'm using the dry bristles on the other half of my brush, and using a bouncing motion to sort of create more of a fur-like effect and really get that bristly look. And then we're just gonna cure that for 10 seconds. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with our Opre Drop Gel. And I'm just gonna do a really thin layer of this. It's a very runny product, and so you don't wanna do too much of it. Really just keep it nice and thin. And coat the whole nail. And we're not gonna cure this layer. We're actually gonna add more to it. Now I'm taking my striping brush. We're gonna dip into our Black Addict, get a pretty generous amount on the end. And then I'm creating this small V shape right at the top. And then coming in with some more elongated stripes that don't quite meet in the middle. We're just gonna continue that pattern all the way down the nail with the shorter, thicker V in the middle and longer, narrower stripes following up on the outer edges. Do that all the way down the nail. Make sure you fill all your space. So as you're painting, you're going to notice that your gel is starting to slip and dissipate and spread out, and that's the look that we're going for. So actually, the more time that you give it to spread out and do its thing, the more natural your fur pattern is going to look. And once you're happy with the dissipation, you can cure this layer for 30 seconds. So now we're going in with a finishing top coat, our Nail Addict Matte Top Coat. And honestly, this design looks great shiny too but if you want that real tabby cat fur look, I definitely recommend the matte. 
Here's our finished look. Before we go, I've got to give a shout out to our shop Cat Cranzel for inspiring this look. If you guys love it as much as I do and you decide to give it a try, be sure to tag my Instagram so I can see all of your beautiful interpretations. And until next week, ciao for now.